very much. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I really want to express my disappointment uh, on the way Ruto is handling issues in this country. And clearly, Ruto is a visitor in Jerusalem, he's a visitor in Kenya. It was clearly shown yesterday by the fact that he didn't even know whether people are dying in Kenya or not. He didn't even know the plight of a child who was shot by his own police officers. And because of that, we are so disappointed at Ruto. And I want to express my disappointment once, once again. When Ruto was campaigning in 2021, 2022, he clearly was telling the then regime that do anything to me as Ruto, but do not touch my children, leave my children alone. Yesterday, what he did to Keter's family, it is so disrespectful to disrespect a man, and then you go further disrespect the wife and further disrespect the children. It's just a big shame. But I know fate has a destiny with you. Thank you. Uh, perhaps before I let you go as a member of parliament, now that the bill has been withdrawn, what's next for this country? Well, once the bill has been withdrawn, Ruto must go. Correct. And actually, there's, 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 there's an act that should take precedence as things are. Ruto, they should ensure that that budget is reduced to around 3 trillion. We don't need a budget of 3.9 trillion if we can't manage it. And it is clear that in the last financial year, they only managed to collect this financial year that is ending today, 23-24. They only managed to collect 2.3 trillion, which means that we are running this country on a deficit. So therefore, we don't need a budget of 3.9 trillion. So these uh, unconstitutional offices must be done away with. Members of parliament, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't support the fact that members of parliament should be traveling. We should remain here in Kenya and sort all our problems here. Thank you.